So our fourth type of concentration, and really for chemistry, it's the more important or the, the more used um, unit of chemistry, is looking at molarity. So this is still solution concentration continued. So we're still looking at section 8.4. Just looking at molarity this time. So molarity we give molarity uh, the symbol of capital M. Okay, remember capitalization is crucial in chemistry, so molarity is given a capital M as its symbol. And it is defined as the number of moles of solute divided by the liters of our solution. So basically our units end up being moles per liter, which is equal to our capital M. Okay, they can be used interchangeably. So if we're looking at kind of an example of how to use um, or calculate molarity, we can answer questions such as what is the molarity of 21 grams of HCl in 850 milliliters of solution. So we want to somehow get moles of our solute and liters of our solution. So HCl is our solute, and we know we've been given our 21 grams of our HCl, our solute. And we've been given 850 milliliters of our solution. And basically what we need to do is we want to convert our grams of our HCl into moles of HCl, take our milliliters of our solution into liters of our solution, and then if we divide these two values, that will get us to our molarity. Anytime that we're going from grams to moles, right, this is our molar mass. We get from our periodic table. Hopefully we're getting used to that. And from milliliters to liters, that's our metric conversion. We hopefully got used to that in chapter 7. Uh, using the ideal gas law. So that is a metric conversion. So we have two conversions to make, and then we want to take those two values that we calculate, divide them to get our molarity. So let's take our 21 grams of HCl. Mm -hmm. 
We want to go from grams of HCl to moles of HCl. We can consult our periodic table. Hydrogen has a molar mass of 1.008. Chlorine, 35.45. So our molar mass of HCl is 36.458. And that's grams per one mole. So we have 21. Calculator up here. We have 21 divided by 36.458. And we get 0 0.576. So two significant figures from our 21. So we have 0 0.58 moles of HCl. Our second conversion, we want to take our 850 milliliters of our solution. We want to convert that from milliliters to liters. And we have a thousand milliliters to one liter, which is going to give us 0 0.850 liters of our solution. So now we can take our moles of our solute, divide it by liters of our solution. So we have 0 0.58 moles divided by our liters of solution, 0 0.850. So 0.58 divided by 0.85 and we get 0 0.68235. We need two sig figs. So we have 0 0.68 as our value. And that's going to be capital M. And then to make sure, in case we have multiple solutions that we're talking about, uh, we include that um, the compound there. So that is our final answer. And if we want to read this, so kind of what this, if we wanted to say this or write this kind of in words, how we refer to this is this would be 0 0.68 molar, like your big teeth. Okay, so 0 0.68 molar HCl. That's how we re refer to that compound. Now it's powerful for us with this, calc with this concentration. Why molarity is so important in chemistry is because it gets us to moles. And remember, moles, once we get to moles of something, of anything, we can convert to moles of anything else given a balanced chemical equation. Okay, so that's why molarity is very, very key to us, is because we can use molarity as a conversion factor. Very, very important to us. Very critical, a uh, very powerful calculation. Okay. Basically, what it allows us to do is we're going to be able to convert between moles of our solute, okay, or moles of a compound, and liters of our solution. So Let's work through an example. 
And we're, this is using molarity as a conversion factor. We want to determine how many grams of sodium hydroxide are needed to prepare two liters of a 1.0 molar sodium hydroxide solution. All right, so I've said this is an example where we're going to use molarity as a conversion factor. So we've been given our molarity. Okay, so we have 1.5 molar NaOH. And remember, molarity means moles per liter. Okay, moles of our solute per liters of our solution. So we can split this apart into those units where we have 1.5 moles of our solute. In this case is going to be NaOH. And that's going to be per one liter of our solution. I remember any time that we have uh, those double units, something per something, Okay, that the uh, unit in the bottom gets a one with it. So when we have moles per liter, that means, excuse me, we have one liter down in our denominator. Okay. So this is one conversion factor. Okay. Or depending on the units that we need, we can flip that. Okay. So put, we may need our moles of our solute our moles NaOH down in the denominator depending on our uh, conversion factor that we need if how we're going to cancel out those units okay and then we'd put our liters of solution up in the top so we our one still stays with the liters okay, and our numerical value stays with our moles. So that's basically our conversion factor. And what we've been given then is we have, or what we're starting with, is our 2.0 liters of our solution. And we need how many grams of sodium hydroxide. So one key with using molarity as a conversion factor is if you decide that you need to use molarity as a conversion factor, then you don't want to start your calculation with molarity. Okay, you want to use that in the railroad itself. So if you've decided to use molarity as a conversion factor, do not start with that value. Okay, your units will get all messed up. So instead, you want to start your uh, calculation with some other value, value you've been given. So in this case, we have our 2.0 liters of solution. So we're going to use this we can use our molarity here to convert from liters to moles and then we can use our molar mass to convert from moles to grams. So we'll start out with our 2.0 liters of our solution. We're going to use our molarity 
to convert from liters of solution to moles of our solute. Okay, oops, I keep putting solute there. What I mean to really put is NaOH. And in this case, we're gonna use this conversion factor here. So we have 1.5 moles per one liter. Then our final step, we're trying to get to grams of NaOH. So we're going to convert from moles of NaOH to grams of NaOH. We do that using molar mass. So uh, sodium, we'd consult our periodic table. Sodium is 22.99 grams per mole. Oxygen is 16. Hydra, or hydrogen is 1.008, so we get 19.998 grams per mole. That's not right. Oh, I only have 2.99, so 22.99 plus 16 plus 1.008. That's a little better. 39.998. I like that number better. And remember moles or molar mass, we have our grams per how many moles? Okay, always per one mole. So same reasoning why we have per one liter of solution, we have per one mole. So to calculate this, we're just gonna end up multiplying straight across. So we'll have 2.0 times 1.5 times 39.998. So I have my 39.998 there, so I'm going to times by 2, times by 1.5, and I get 119.994. I started with two significant figures, so my 1 and my 1 are significant. I have a 9 there, so I'm going to have to round up uh, so I have 120 grams of NaOH. So that's how we use molar matter molarity as a conversion factor. Okay, a very powerful calculation for us uh, because now this adds another pathway to our mole road. Um, so in the next um, section, uh, in a couple videos from now, I'll add to that mole road and we'll work through some examples um, converting on the big mole pathway.